Okay. Hi, everyone. I am with the great Muriel Anderson. Uh, <laughs> and before we delve into what, um, you know, what we're going to talk about mostly, I'd just like to find out, like, how have you been and, and how have, you know, you're a real touring musician who basically, like, spends a lot of time away from home normally. Yes. What's been happening in the past year? Well, the last time I played a live concert in, in a real venue with a live audience was uh, around the time for you last year, my last Florida tour last February. So this will be the first time in an entire year to play a, an indoor venue uh, with a real audience. Wow. So it'll be a very special occasion, I can tell you that. And, and you've been doing this for a while. Like, you look very young, but you've been doing this for a few years. <laughs> Thank you. So that's <laughs> a few years. Been, that must yeah. have been a pretty, like, that must be, like, pretty uh, strange and difficult to adapt to. Like. Uh, it was it, um, very strange in a, in a way, and I'm just so used to the interaction with people. And I've tried to do it with live streams over the year. But I think that this is going to be a real rejuvenating experience to play for you and to play for your audience here. We're very, very much for looking forward to that. So listen, we let's go into that. Like, so we you're playing at Timucua on the 24th, mm -hmm. two shows, uh, yeah. seven o'clock and eight thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are also going to stream it um, from the whole night. So whoever you know, gets the stream, gets it for both, both shows, which is kind of cool because if some, if it's some of the same music, then they'll see two different performances of it. And if it's different music, then they get to see two different shows. <laughs> um, and so uh, I'm, you know, I'm very, I, of course, always, it's an honor to have you uh, over. And especially because, uh, you know, last year you started uh, with us anyways, it started last year, uh, playing along with visuals, like with videos, Yes, and it's it adds to the experience. It really does, and I, I love your venue. You've got a, a nice screen there, and we can put the visuals behind that my partner Brian has done that really express what's happening in the music, and it adds another dimension to the whole show. So we're really happy with uh, the way that's been working out. Considering that here at Timucua, we're we're at, we have accustomed our audience to uh, having a visual artist often mm -hmm. working live, especially of of course in the last year it's been different, but because we've minimized interactions between you know people on stage if we can, um, but uh, but yeah that's that's very very cool to have like not only you know of course it's it's uh, it's it's visual but it's moving like it's 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 really cool to have like a film essentially playing uh, like you're you're basically like we don't know which supports which like it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a very uh complete experience for the audience well we're doing something different the seven o'clock show we're going to do a very romantic show okay. so this will be the theme of that show and the eight thirty p.m will be requests and fun things and so we don't know what's going to happen for the 8 30 show so oh, the very cool very very cool kind of spontaneous, well, um, and a lot of people i mean i'm familiar with the instrument because i've seen you for many years playing that instrument but what is the instrument you're uh holding right now okay i, I play both a regular guitar and a harp guitar so i'm uh, tipping this down so that you can see all the strings uh, this has 20 strings so this this part is more or less like a like a regular guitar and then the sub basses really bring some depth into it and then when i want a little sparkle on the top i have these super trebles on the top and these are steel strings and give it a different sound so it's become a real wonderful tool in creating the music that i want to do especially when i was recording the music for acoustic chef and that's our new project the cookbook with music written for each recipe and so this gives enough depth that i can do all different types of things and so i like a real variety of sound or a variety of feel and even variety of countries right right kind of it is it's quite and especially because you can tune the the the, fi the fixed like unfretted strings you can tune them to different you know scales essentially yeah. to have different flavors and things 
Well, let me do one from, from that, if, uh, if you don't mind. If, we'll see how this uh, transfers. I know sometimes uh, over the airwaves, uh, the guitar ends up sounding like ducks. So it's not going to sound <laughs> like this uh, when we do it uh, for real, for the real live stream. But, uh, but for this, uh, you know, mm. my apologies in advance for the, the sound quality on this. Uh, but this is one that I wrote for the goulash recipe. And this is what we made over an open fire in Hungary. And so I wrote something that had the feel of the gypsy Hungarian fiddle players and accordion players, and I call this paprika. So listen, you're going to have the cookbook with you, right? When you come? Yeah, sorry, I know you can't hear me now. Uh, so <laughs> you're going to bring the cookbook with you when you come? Yes, yes. Because I'm of course, the that. cookbook is more than a cookbook. It's also a travelogue because of, you know, there's a story with each recipe because, of course, it's recipes from your travels that you yes. inspired. And so having a piece that goes with the story, that goes with the geographic place, that goes with the, uh, with the, with the recipe is so cool. We like to connect everything. So now in addition to Acoustic Chef, uh, the, the cookbook, we also have Acoustic Sailing because <laughs> that's, that's the next step is uh, we've taken it 
and added the sailing to it. So if you go to the YouTube, uh, there's also the acoustic sailings. You can watch some of the adventures, the ones that happen by sea. Right, right. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for playing. Thank you for talking to me. And, you know, there, and one last question about, you know, a question about the, uh, the situation that we're in. It's like a lot of people have adapted in different ways, you know, to, to the situation. But very few people are actually preparing for what comes next. Yes. And it's, it's surprising how few people have actually planned, like, you know, the complete tours. And like, you know, there's going to be like a log jam of like, there, it's, it's, it could be very, very difficult for everyone involved. Not only, of course, this was horrible for everyone in, in, in your business and our business, Uh, for the last year, but what comes next is going to also, it's going to be different, a different kind of difficulty, but it's going to be very hard. So do you have any like plans, specific plans to like, okay, if this happens, like this is where I'm going to do this, this, you know, you're lucky because you can travel like yeah. basically by yourself. You can, you know, especially with the instruments that you have, like you have the, you know, the normal, the normal guitar, but with the, the, the harp guitar, you can accompany yourself and do things that normally would take two people at least to play you know yeah and so uh but have you thought about the return to what could be normal oh. or a new normal a, a little bit but let me answer that question in two parts uh first with the the present time uh, this florida tour which was originally going to be several shows and the ones that weren't careful enough about the covid precautions i canceled those shows And yours is the only indoor venue that I'll be doing in the entire Florida tour because uh, you've limited the audience, you've installed an air filtration system, you have high ceilings, you have people wearing masks, uh, and uh, you allow beverages but not food, and you've done everything right with your right. venue. So I wanted to commend you on that and let you know you are the only indoor venue that I'm doing. The other one is uh, outdoors at the Cedar Lakes Woods and Gardens. And well, then- Thank you very much. And that's, that's a very important point because a lot of people, you know, like we've, we've now, we've, for a few weeks, we've gotten some touring musicians back for like mm -hmm. for the first time really um, in, in a long time. And, uh, and everyone is approaching it a different way, but it's very important to be safe for you too, <laughs> you know? Yes. And for everyone involved, like you don't want to be, you know, we don't want to be the, 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 the place for a super spreading event. Like we don't right. want to cause hardship to anyone in yeah. any way, shape or form. And so it's very important with that to think about safety for now. And of yes. course, that your second answer for the rest of the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I found that as an artist that is very in tune to vibrations and also a creative artist that is in tune with what's going on around me uh, this in the spiritual realm, I have felt a real lag and a real difficulty to compose and to make something great. I've written a few new tunes, which will be in the show, by the way, we do have a lot of new material in there, but I'm feeling a need now as I'm kind of feeling this weight lift a little bit to once again, create something really special and unique. And I don't know if I'll be going back into touring a hundred shows a year as I used to do, but I want to be able to give something back to the world and in the form of something unique and something artistic and something that's inspirational and uplifting to people. So we'll see what that is. And I know that some of it has to do with that sailing ch uh, channel that I, I talked about, because when we did go up and sail up to the coast of Maine, there was that moment where everything felt good and right with the world again. And so to be out in nature and to be out on the water like that, I think is an important nourishing thing that I'm going to be trying to do more of this year. Yeah, very good. Take care of yourself. So it's very exciting to have you, of course, on the 24th, seven o'clock or 8.30. You can go to timqua.com to get your tickets uh, on the schedule page. Uh, uh, your website announces it as well. There's the stream. 
and the tickets for both shows. And some people might be, uh, some super fans are gonna get tickets to both shows since both shows are completely different. So yeah. that's very cool. So important for you guys in the audience to know. So thank you so much, Muriel, for talking to me. And well, thank you. Uh, I I'm cannot wait to see to. you again. <laughs> it's gonna be a really interesting show. I can tell you that. It's gonna be really cool to be back and, and playing. And uh, so look forward to seeing you all. Thank you so much. Ciao. Ciao. Thanks so much for watching that Timuqua talk. Please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel and why not smash that like button. Keep in touch via our website at timuqua.com or on Facebook at Timuqua Arts Foundation.